the traffic does not know who I am, I find that it works best. So I'll throw it set up a short squeeze page. If it's referral traffic, like somebody refers me, I found a longer squeeze page outpulls the shorter squeeze page in that. So typically I'll usually set up for this, since you, nobody knows you, let's just say, and you have no money, you just got time, set up a short squeeze page, a page that's on there, um, you know, and then basically a place for them to opt in, put their name and email address. You want to bribe them, ethically bribe them somehow. Uh, basically maybe give them a newsletter, maybe a free report, maybe an audio, um, you know, videos work whatever, give them something. For every single niche that I own, I have a squeeze page, but not only for every single, every single niche that I'm in, I, I build a business around it. For every single niche that I'm in, I also, put a, I also have a merchant account for that company. Um, and then also on top of that, um, you know, and I just kind of build from there, but then all the traffic that I send to this squeeze page, I'll use uh, Google um, AdWords, I use um, a Microsoft Ad Center, um, Yahoo Search, Write articles, 500, uh, 300 to 500 words, or 300 to 700 words, really. Um, write the article, and you want it. You need about you need five things to make it happen. First, you need a title. The second thing you need to have is uh, the title. You need to have the content, 300 to 700 words. You need to have a bio or a resource box, um, and in that bio and resource box is where you're going to put a link back to your page, and then you also need um, keywords. And basically, these are keywords that if somebody was searching for your article that you would want them to find the article. The keywords that are not in the article, but, but the people are searching for. For example, uh, let's say you did um, how to escape foreclosure. And somebody searching to escape foreclosure or wanted to find an article on escape foreclosure or looking for that information, they might be searching online for we buy houses. So you wouldn't write about we buy houses on, in your thing. So you put we buy houses as a keyword. Somebody searches for we buy houses, they could possibly find your article is what I'm talking about from that. And the other thing you need is a summary. Summarizing, one to two sentences summarizing your whole article. Now, um, once you have that and you take that article and you go submit the article. There's great places out there to submit your article. You can use Article Submitter Pro. So you want to use like easy an article. Um, you want to use uh, Search Warp's a good one. Um, Article Alley, um, just really the best thing to do, just go online, go to Google. Google's your best friend. Go to Google, search in um, article submission locations. It'll pop up all the places and just go there and start submitting your article. Now, the question everybody always asks is, okay, I got this one article, can I submit that one article to all those locations? The answer is yes, do that. Then take those articles and rewrite those articles. Take them and rewrite the article into a press release format and submit them using free press release submission locations. Um, I'm trying to think, because I usually use PR Web or PR Web Direct, but I know there's some great free press release locations you can go. There are directories. Free directories, they will let you go put your link in there. Um, like for example, one of the directories, you want to find directories like new-list. Um, it's a directory where you put your news, they call it newsletters, new lists and new newsletters. So you're able to put your stuff on there, put your link on there, put your, put your summary about whatever it is on there. People will click on it and go and sign up for your stuff. There's tons of them out there out there. Nobody really talks about them, but you can go put them on there. It's going to help you in two ways, two benefits you get out of it. One, people are literally going to go to there, click on it, and go to your page. The other thing is people are going to go, and not only that, they're going to, well, the search engines are going to see your links and help pull you up higher in the search engines. So you're going to get two benefits out of this whole thing uh, to make that happen.